Just imagine if you would, if a company came out with essentially an engine block replacement for small motors, like a 200cc motor, and they came out with something that was exact same size, shape, form factor, bolt holes, whole nine yards, except it was electric. Now, I'd had this idea. I thought I'd seen it. I thought, honestly, it was a fever dream because I couldn't find it. But guess what? Sure enough, Chervon, a.k.a. Ego, is making it. It blew my mind because I'd seen I thought I'd seen it uh, like a month or so ago. And I did some research. Couldn't find anything about it. Talked to my contacts at Chervon. They're like, we don't know what you're talking about. I thought for sure I had dreamed this. But no. I did a little bit more digging and I was able to find it. It's the Ego Power Unit. I kid you not, let's take a look at this and you'll see what I'm talking about. This could change the game. All right, so what we got here is literally just that. It is a electric motor replacement for essentially a 200cc gas engine. This thing, it's the same size, the same shape. It takes two batteries and it sits right into the same kind of mounting plate you would with the 200cc. Here's the basic shape and form factor of it. It takes two of the arc batteries, one on either side on the front there. Let me see if I can uh, show you. We got a, uh, let's see, we got more pictures on this page. Now let's go over here. We got the, uh, we got some schematics on it. It's kind of hard to see. But what you got here, it says constructed using premium components, the PU2700. Uh, power unit that's what they call it, the power unit has a comparative uh comparative uh, performance to petrol and is engineered to make light work of the toughest jobs now that one word in that sentence should kind of uh, be a red flag here as to what's going on and that's the use of the word petrol what that's what makes me think this is designed for the european market it might not be coming out in the united states now i'm gonna have a link to this page it's it's not on the main Ego page. This is poweredbyego.com. Now, I'll put a link down below. You can take a look at it for yourself. But anyway, they talk about it. it's performance comparable to a 200cc petrol engine, higher torque, of course, electric. That's the benefit of electric motors is that torque. More compact, peak power balances the performance of multiple batteries. So it takes at least two batteries. They may have one that takes four. I don't know. Uh, compatible with all Ego handheld batteries. That's the entire 56 volt line. Uh, can be connected to the Ego backpack battery. Are you familiar with the Ego backpack battery? If not, there's a little, we got a little teaser at the end of this here. Two speeds, Eco and Boost, power for a whole working day. I gotta tell you, I'm excited ish. We're gonna tell you, I would be more excited if they were saying gas engines. We knew this was coming out in the US market. I got back to my contacts at Ego and they're like, first we've heard of it. We'll look into it. We'll get back to you. I have not heard anything back from them. I couldn't wait on this because it, it is such a cool piece of technology. 56 volt dual port batteries, uh, optional backpack on it, uh, air cooled. You can see all the specs here. Again, it now it's a vertical shaft engine and uh, or motor in this case. And uh, yeah, there you go. We got everything here. Electric brake, tells you length, everything else. Again, if you're really interested in this, I'll have links to all this before. And here's the battery setup. So the front cover kind of goes forward. You can put two of their ARC batteries. They're called ARC batteries because, well, you know, I'll show you here and just, well, because they, they form an ARC. Uh, this is the kind of the layout of the battery. And what they do is rather than like in a standard power brick, I usually have, here. You know, I got a DeWalt power brick. They got all these batteries here just snug together as close as, as can be and in the arc battery they they make these different cell units that kind of go in an arc and expose more of the surface to their cooling tech that allows them to run uh longer uh hotter aka cooler because it has more surface area to cool the battery down on um that's why one of the reasons that ego has been so successful in outdoor power equipment uh the, <clears throat> again there's here's some different renders of it i haven't seen actual photo of it in use now of course the first thing my thought is you get an old gas motor you just take this thing and you know that motor is dead you want to switch to electric why buy a whole new thing rip that that mower that that uh, engine right off of it put this one right in it now you have an electric mower but here's the thing <clears throat> this is why i get so excited about it. unlike a gas engine it's really important with a gas engine when you're buying the right one for the for the task. You have to go, well, is this a, a vertical or horizontal, horizontal shaft engine? Uh, electric motors don't have fluids, so it doesn't matter what orientation you put it in. So you could just take an angle bracket and 
adapted to a, what would typically be a horizontal shaft. <laughs> I'm thinking all sorts of stuff I could do with this. Maybe a pit bike, you know, uh, change over to, uh, to electric. Uh, that would be pretty fun, pretty cool. I have tons of projects that popped into my head that I'm like, anything I could put a gas engine on, I can now put an electric motor on. That seems pretty cool to me. Now here's, uh, you know, here's where things kind of, then let's call, call it the bad news, all right? As I said, petrol is what we're talking about. And you go to this page here, and they're talking about how they're working with AS Motor, AS Motor. I don't, I've never heard of this company, so I went over to their website. Sure enough, they are a German-based outdoor power equipment company. Uh, they make some really, look at this, insect scare devices. That's not something you normally see in the U.S. Maybe, maybe you commercial guys uh, deal with insect scare devices. It's not something... I'm often worried about when mowing a yard, but apparently the ecologically oriented green space maintenance folks over in Germany are, that's a big deal. We got to save the insects. Uh, all jokes aside, you can see up here that they have the electric division over here now. And if you click on that, there we can clearly see one of their brush mowers here with the Ego power unit on it. All right. We come down here and here we got some mowers. We got the professional lawnmower, their mulching mowers. Uh, what else we got? The Almo mower. I my German's really bad. Uh, disc mowers and there's they even have what they call them weed removers, uh, like brush hogs stuff like that. Uh, anyway, again, you know you can find all this from the main page there. Now, one thing that I did notice in going through, I was digging through this whole website they have here and. They, uh, you know, they start with cordless technology for a greener future. And they, there's the, the headquarters there for Shervan over in China. And they've got the grass roof and everything. I, and I, honestly, I'm a big fan of the CEO of this company. I, I think what he, his vision and stuff that he's doing is super cool. Uh, I've seen walkthroughs of the headquarters that look super cool. Uh, I, I like the tech that they're doing and stuff. I'm a, I geek out about this sort of thing. But I'm like a little disappointed going, you know, I really just wanted to walk into a store and just buy one it by itself. And uh, I don't know if that's going to happen, but I was going through this and they talk about power beyond belief, the ego battery, the ego power unit, and retrofit. That's what I was looking for. This makes me think... I can buy the unit separately and retrofit older devices. So let's see what they say here. You can come down here. We can click on find out more about retrofit. And we're going to find out tons of cool stuff. Page not found. Well, that, that's kind of where we leave it. It's page not found. Uh, no information about it. I Again, I and I hate to leave it like this. And as soon as I get information from Shervon and somebody figures out what's going on, I will, I'll put a post, so uh, I'll put a post uh, in the comments, and I'll pin it, giving you an update, whether we find out, whether, is it going to come to the U.S., what the price point is going to be, are we going to be able to buy it for a retrofit, because I would love to do all sorts of fun projects with this thing. I could think of all sorts of cool stuff to make. What do you? What would you do with it? Put it down in the comments. I want to hear what kind of projects you would do with this thing. Uh, anyway, that's all I got for today. You all take care, God bless, and as always... Shine on.